Five News at 6. Now on 5. The city of Frankenmuth keeps Walmart out, but is hit with a $4 million lawsuit. The story coming up. New at 6 at TV5 and Saginaw News exclusive tonight. Two developers are suing the city of Frankenmuth over a parcel of land. Now, the men claim they lost out on a $4 million sale to Walmart because of zoning changes. TV5's Bill Walsh live and local in Little Bavaria with more. Bill. Well, thank you, Katie. To find out how this fight started, you simply have to walk down the streets of Frankenmuth, Michigan's Little Bavaria. And I'll tell you what, city leaders thought that Walmart just didn't fit the character of Frankenmuth. And while the city was able to keep Walmart out, it could cost them. We were approached uh, and, you know, we went through and wound up dealing <laughs> to a point where we were happy and Walmart was happy. And uh, all of a sudden it was taken away. Ron Lozell and his brother filed the lawsuit in U.S. District Court yesterday. The lawsuit claims the city of Frankenmuth rezoned their land and violated their constitutional rights to keep a Walmart out. Because of the rezoning, uh, Walmart did not purchase the land and did not build here. So the lawsuit does ask for $4 million. Court documents claim the Frankenmuth city manager carried out an underhanded plan to rezone only the Lozell's land. For example, Walmart wanted to build a 100,000 square foot store, but Bronner's Christmas store in the city is well over 400,000 square feet. We think there's good law to support this lawsuit, and we are um, looking forward to having the lawsuit be played out in, in court and uh, towards a victory. The lawsuit also contains subpoenaed emails from the city manager claiming he helped organize in advance a grassroots anti-Walmart effort while trying to appear publicly neutral. While the Lozells are crying foul, some residents are happy that Walmart stayed away. Any big box store out here is definitely going to hurt the small businesses downtown. There's no way around it and it would be terrible if they were boarded up. It's a moral dilemma for some. They respect a landowner's rights to do business, but also want a voice in what their hometown looks like. And it's all about preserving the character and the rural heritage of this town. TV5 contacted Frankenmuth uh, City Manager Charlie Graham. We wanted him to respond to the allegations in the lawsuit, but because of this pending lawsuit, he has been advised not to talk to the media. Live and local in Frankenmuth, I'm Bill Walsh, WNEM TV5 News.